Hey everybody, welcome to the Minish Recap, a bite-sized gaming news show where we give you gaming news in 10 minutes or less. Okay, so this just broke as we were wrapping a ZBN podcast that we were just recording, so here we go. Zelda U, Zelda for Wii U has been delayed. Okay, every, everyone, three, two, one. <sighs> oh, why are you drawing? Okay. okay. Well, that was it. Well, that was, so so that was, we have our, our frustration. So we nope, have our nope. frustration wow. out on the table. My goodness. <laughs> Go ahead. My expressions. I can't. I can't handle this. I can't handle it. Okay. So. So. Well, this is. So. This is typical. So, right. So. Yes. But. I mean. I mean. Yes. And so. <laughs> yes, I, it I, is. I respect the fact that he is. Okay. So. If you haven't seen it yet, Anuma put a video out. Uh, I, I saw it on the Facebook uh, for the Legend of Zelda, but I imagine it somewhere else as well on YouTube and whatever. But basically, the gist is. We've been trying to work hard to get it out by 2015, but as we continue to explore new ideas with this huge world and all that stuff, we we keep coming up with ideas and we really want to implement them, but we can't do that within a 2015 time frame. So they're instead of focusing on getting it out by the end of this year, as they just want to make as complete of a Zelda game as they can for the Wii U, which I admire them for wanting to make the best possible product because they only get one shot at a Wii U Zelda, right? It's, yeah. So, and it's, it's totally understandable that they want to yeah. do this. And but it's I, also so frustrating because I want it now. I need <laughs> it now. Yeah. Why isn't it's, it done? Just get it. Just be magic. Time travel. <laughs> Ask the doctor. Just bring be in, magic. Uh, use the magic bar. Use the ma- bring back the magic meter and use it. <laughs> That's yes. never returning. Um, you say that now, but it was in, it was in the demo. Was it really? So what? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. That. Well, it was also in the demo for Twilight Princess. So well, shut up. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so as we can all tell, uh, Hex is very aggravated about this. Oh, you know what? I didn't even introduce us. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah. So you're okay, Spiegel Wee. I'm, I'm Spiegel. Hex Dupli, you I'm dot. Sp- That's Mr. Chris. Okay. Okay, we're right. introduced now. What everyone? What's? Oh my! I'm just so. Okay, someone else go. I can't handle this, guys. My emotional state is compromised. So I just hosted an entire ZBN podcast. I'm, tr- I'm so, freaking so, trying to eat dinner. I was so I was, I was in the re- middle of making dinner. <laughs> I was I'm ready to be. Right I was now. ready to be done, and then I, we wrapped the show, and then oh, here's this news about Zelda you getting delayed, and I'm like, great. Now not only do I have to go host another show, but now my night and evening and week and month and year is ruined, <laughs> and <laughs> ju- and just oh, God. just. It- <laughs> I was um, expecting a delay, um, but there was a part of me that was getting quite comfortable. With, hey, look, Zelda this year. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I they, think that was the thing, right? Is that we all kind of got comfortable said, with it. They constantly said stuff like, yeah, it'll be out this year. They said that at least twice in different instances, like different you know, events. Uh-huh. Didn't at the, the Game Awards, didn't like Miyamoto like guarantee it was out in two, 2015 or something? Yeah, basically. I mean, well, and, he said that for Star Fox. Um, right. Miyamoto asked Aonuma, "Do you think this is going to get done in 2015?" And then Aonuma was like, "Yeah. Well, what about Star Fox?" And then Miyamoto's like, "Yeah. It'll wow. Get what, done a, in what an a hole." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what about your stupid game? Is it even going to be finished? <laughs> wow. Um, uh, so, so obviously we're very upset. Let's let's bring this back a little. Let's bring it down to earth a little bit. So so so, I'm upset, so we knew. Yes. Right? So we're but all also, very upset. I'm also pleased that they they have the integrity to displease a lot of people for the sake of creating something that they can be proud of and that that rewards as he said that rewards the patience that we have for waiting for this game to come out like i I think that's a super like it's it's a it's a bold move but it's one that's easy to respect it's it's the nintendo way yeah they've always done this and it's like it's the valve way man and one thing (laughs) that uh todd or uh todd from rest of fort actually said in the 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 our little chat that we do. He, he brought this up right before we started recording. He said he always sort of viewed it as a, like in the future game. Like he never viewed it as 2015. He viewed it as like, until I play it, it's in the future. Mm-hmm. And that, that's probably the right move, you know, for, um, for it's anybody who's who, for anybody who's waiting for any game. Cause any game can get delayed at any time. Like Batman, the new Batman game got delayed three weeks and people were upset. And I'm like, it's just three weeks. Like, and it's not even out yet. So like, it's it's not like they it's not like the game is in your hand and they take it away and they're like no, it's it's like this it was game in my is, heart and now this it's, hex mm. just calm down, <laughs> it, it's like the game is coming out in 2015 and oh oh no it's not, 
And it's not even like when they delayed Donkey Kong and it was like, I don't know what that was. It's not even like when they delayed Donkey Kong and it was, you know, October and they're like, yeah, we can't get it out in early December. It's going to come out in February. We didn't even have a month. You know, we didn't even have a, technically we didn't even have a time period. It was just 2015. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was expecting, well, you know, Nintendo's fabled November release. So here, so the the big question I think from this point going forward, there's two I think, is one, um, and this is kind of a minor concern. This is still happening for Wii U, right? Of course. Yep. Okay. I because I did. I have to admit, I did get a little twinge of fear when they said we're, you know, 2015 is not a realistic time frame or whatever. I'm like, well, the NX, the NX is coming out in 2017. Like, I mean, that's a long time, obviously, but. You know. <laughs> I have to imagine they've come way too far in development to be able to shift focus to a different console entirely. Like that would push it back to like friggin' 2020. Um, so then, so then I guess the second question is um, like one, it's, it's a two part question. Um, so it's now become three questions. What does Nintendo <laughs> have for November uh, or, you know, the holiday season and two, um, you know, what is this going to affect the amount of Wii U sales this year i mean like were people really gonna buy a wii u just to play zelda because smash brothers and mario kart and super mario 3d world and yes, bayonetta and donkey kong to that question people I mean, none people of those there none of those been games waiting for them. zelda yes there mm-hmm. are people who don't give a crap about smash that care about zelda zelda is huge it's like one of the few games that breaks out of like the nintendo uh you know circles and into people who are more interested in games like skyrim or fall. Yeah, that's true. And stuff yeah, like that. That's a fair point. Um but it's not like um it's not a syst- it is sort of a system seller but not as much. As- I mean the promises that they've made f- for this game are her huge and people I imagine if they hype it properly they can still get a lot of Wii U sales in the holiday season anticipating that Zelda will come out sometime in the first quarter of 2016. Right. And that's one of the things that I'm scared of is they haven't really given us a new window. They're basically saying, we'll, we'll get it done. It'll be perfect whenever it gets done. That's what I gathered from what he said. So what does that mean? What does that like? I feel like we could be waiting until the next holiday for all I know. It's scary. Mm. I mean, that, that is a very real possibility. So that's why I'm trying to turn my attention more towards, okay, so what do I have to look forward to for the rest of this year? You know, Splatoon, Yoshi, Xenoblade. That's three right there, and then there's um, there's games that we don't know about. I'm probably Star forgetting Fox. Star Fox. Which, Star Fox, yeah, yeah. Star Fox is. Can they really make Star Fox like their big holiday game? Like I don't think so. Well, uh, we I don't know we'll anything about it. Yeah. E3. Um, I mean, may, can may, they get people maybe they have, so excited about Star Fox that it feels like getting excited about Zelda? Maybe they have an Animal Crossing like waiting in the wings. Like maybe they just haven't said anything I about it. it. I doubt it. Not for this E3 year. I think the uh, the other super surprising thing is that they they waited until like before the Nintendo Direct to announce this. Like I, f- I feel like this is sort of a thing you'd want to like say as an afterthought. Like after that Direct, the eventual Direct comes out. Like say they do it on April seventh or whatever. Like, well, I like, imagine they wouldn't want to spoil the like to no no, no to not not, dur- that not direct, during though. not during the Direct. Like after it, like when they like maybe like a week later they'd be Better like to yeah get it out by the way later. Better to tell them the bad news sooner. That way we have time to get over it. Like, why push that news off? It can only hurt them. <sighs> because I didn't want to hear it. That's the main <laughs> exactly. reason. Exactly. And yeah. now you heard it, and now you can you have more time to get over it. And now I'm, like, oh. rationalizing it. Like, well, it won't be so bad, you know? It's only another year and a half. Like, you know how long a year and a half is, man? We could all be dead by then. <laughs> like, like t- it only took 28 days in that movie. Where are you we? Know, twenty. Where, where are we in this episode, guys? <laughs> Twenty-eight days later. I don't know. Like nine minutes. Yeah, we're not. Um, so I guess that's it. So thanks for well, listen, thanks for listening to the the, the most depressing. What were you gonna say, Chris? Time. I was just gonna say, like you know, Zelda. You looks like it will probably have a lot of content. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, well, like, Zelda's normally don't, but you know. <laughs> now they've raised the bar of expectations even higher. Yeah. It's like you've delayed this game. It better be worth it. Yeah, it better be better be worth it sure it will be oops crashes on nintendo 
So thanks for listening, everybody. For Mr. Chris and Hex, this is Spiegel. We signing off. Thanks for listening to the Ministry Recap. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like our videos. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Hey, guys. So just as an addendum to the Ministry Recap that we just did, the reason it took us a little bit longer to get this up than I originally wanted is because another piece of news broke, and this one is almost as devastating. Nintendo of America has tweeted, Mr. Aonuma and team will be hard at work on hashtag Zelda and have decided not to show it at E3. Thanks for your patience. Man, good grief. Why? Like, what? They've got to have enough to at least One show second. more. What is going on? What is happening? I took the microphone away from my mouth. That was fun. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, what? Why? Like, have they not made enough progress that they could show more? Like, even the demo... Like that extent of more content. Yeah, they showed the enough. demo at the Game Awards. Like, right. just show me that again. Like, have, like, I guess, like I, what? That was a little bit raw, but maybe they don't want to like put a demo together. Maybe and, like, they just maybe they just don't feel like it's ready. Like the demo wasn't ready for an E three level presentation. Like, not even close. Right? No, it but raw. it was something. I just wanted to see something, and it's like I had. So what the heck is Nintendo going to do at E3? If they're not going to have Zelda to steal the show, they must have something like, they must have a bunch of stuff. Either that. Because because the the thing is, Nintendo would make that an absolute priority that they have to show Zelda if they didn't have anything else. Right. So they, they, they have to have stuff that we just don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm really nervous now. Like, this could end up becoming, like, a thorn in their side. Like, the fact that they can't get Zelda out. Oh my That's gosh, if, if if I have to read like every single comment on Nintendo's Facebook page, oh, why isn't Zelda U out yet? I'm going to freaking just ja- uh. jam an ice pick into my retina. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. No Zelda at E3, unless they decide to be really flip-floppy and change their minds. But don't don't hold your breath for that, because that's not going to happen. Do hold, You know what? Do hold your breath. And then when you turn blue and pass out and die, you can sue Nintendo for not having Zelda E3. <laughs> Thanks right. for listening to the Minish Recap, everybody. This was Spiegel and Hex with your little addendum here. Um, bye again. <laughs> yeah, th- yeah, bye. Hopeful. Okay, you know, maybe this time when we leave, another piece of news will break and be like, just kidding, Zelda's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Bye. <laughs>